Hello my friends, hello again. If you do not already know who I am, my name is Kyle. My name is Kyle and here on my channel, Pensando Inglés, making bilingual people is what we do. And today, today I bring you yet another intermediate level English video and we are going to be learning English in one of the most fun, divertido, one of the most fun ways possible. Con memes. Okay guys, so I'm going to be reading some memes to you guys. We say memes, you guys say memes. I'm going to read some memes to you and some of the ones that are more difficult I will explain why they're funny, okay? Before we start learning English with memes, I want to start this video by reading a quote from one of my favorite self-help authors of all time, Earl Nightingale. And Earl says, Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become a reality. And I think that's beautiful because everything that you see around you, cars, buildings, airplanes, fancy watches, clothing, everything that you see around you once started as an idea in somebody's mind. And now with the memes. All right, guys. Here in Indiana, it is starting to get cold. It is almost winter here, and it is going to snow any time now. I do not like the snow. I am sure that a lot of you guys think, oh, snow is cool. But that is because you live in nice, warm places, okay? So you think that snow is cool. But I have had to deal with snow every year of my life for the 32 years that I have been living in Indiana. And this meme shows one of the realities of dealing with a place where it snows and gets very, very cold. So it says, driving before your windshield defrost when you're late for work, okay? So to defrost means you turn up the heat, calentar, you turn up the heat in your car and the warm air, uh, la ventana enfrente, the windshield, the warm air starts to melt the ice. Okay, el hielo. But if it's very cold, it takes a long time, okay? And only little spaces will start to defrost, but you slept too much. You slept too much, now you're late for work, so you have to drive, you have to drive, and you can only see through a tiny little hole. Everybody, everybody who lives in a place where it snows or gets freezing cold in the winter, understands this meme. Next, this meme. It says, seeing my dog sprint across the house squeaking his toy. So sprinting means to run really fast and squeaking his toy. Uh, it's those little juguetes that dogs like to go squeak, 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 squeak. Okay. And you're smiling. Oh, how nice, how cute. And then it says, realizing why he's enjoying it so much. And the picture gets dark. Do you guys know why this meme is kind of funny? Well, why do dogs like squeaky toys? They like squeaky toys because it sounds like an animal screaming ah, when they are hunting it. Okay? Because dogs are really just wolves inside of houses. They still have those killer instincts and that's why they like squeaky toys because it sounds like they are killing, matando, killing an animal, and they love it. They love it. Dogs are crazy. Next meme. When that one overly chatty coworker starts talking to you when you're trying to work. So chatty to chat means like charlar, but chatty means somebody who talks too much, okay? And the person in the meme says, can you not? Can you not? Like, please, no, 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 not today. No. And I think a lot of us know this one person at our jobs, Nuestros Trabajos, and this person just wants to talk and talk about their weekend, about their, their hobbies, whatever it is. But they want to talk when we're trying to do something, okay? And it's just like, please, déjame trabajar, or déjame pensar, déjame comer. I'm sure a lot of us have been here before. And to be fair, a lot of us have probably been the chatty coworker too. 
Sometimes we drink too much coffee and we just want to talk and talk. All right, guys, next meme. This one I completely relate with, this one. It says, are you busy? And then you reply, no, why? Incoming video call, okay? So somebody texts you, somebody sends you a text message. They say, are you busy? And you say, no, I'm not, because you think that they wanna ask you a question. They're just gonna send you another text. Hey, uh, how do you make this recipe? Hey, how's your mom? Blah, blah, blah. But then they send you a call or a video call, and then you're gonna have to talk with another human being and you know we aren't trying to do that. Nobody wants to talk. Nobody wants to talk on the phone. Text me, text me, please. Weirdo, trying to call me? This meme is pretty clever. This next one is a pretty smart meme, I think. It's pretty funny, but it's more of a clever joke. Clever means smart, and I think this is a pretty smart meme. It says, is Alexander Graham Bell calling me? RN and RN significa right now, ahora mismo. And on the phone, el numero, the phone number is one. So the joke is that one would be the first phone number ever. And Alexander Graham Bell is the man who they, they say, who they say invented the telephone. So it's like, why am I getting a call from the number one? Is it the first phone that ever existed? Is it Alexander Graham Bell? Maybe that's a nerd meme. I thought it was kind of funny. This next one, there's not too much to explain. Me too, plant. Me too. Yo también me siento así. I feel you, plant. I feel you. This one, I, this one is me, okay? I love to read. I love to go to the bookstore and buy new books. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So this one says, me seeing new books to read. All happy and excited. And then it says, the unread books, the books that I have not read, sitting on my shelf, okay? Uh, and those books are like, you're buying more books you haven't even read us. And yeah, I'm guilty, I'm guilty. I have a whole lot of books and I've read most of them, but there are a couple which I have not read yet. And when I bought them, I thought they sounded interesting, but now I just wanna buy new books. I don't really wanna read them right now, but I'm sure one day I will see them again and think, ah, now is the time, okay? Cause I think timing is everything. Okay guys, here comes a Netflix meme. Netflix meme, okay? These are the profiles of the different people on the Netflix account. It says, person who pays for the account, and then there are three parasites. Three parasites. A parasite is a tiny creature that lives on a big creature and sucks its blood and does no work. So what this is saying is that one person pays for the account, and then three other people who do not pay are using that person's account. And I think all of us who have Netflix are either one, the person who pays for the account, or we are one of the parasites, okay? I was a parasite on my sister's Netflix for a long, long time. Next, meme. This one is about being an adult and being mature, Maduro. Me, I'm mature now. Also me, I have to walk on the brown tiles or else I will die. <laughs> So this is like a joke, like, oh, we think we're adults, we have a job, we have bills to pay and things like that. But we also are always thinking very silly things in our head, like, oh, I have to step on only the brown parts. It just goes to show that we think we're adults, we think we're mature, but we still have some childish and silly thoughts sometimes. Next, this meme is not very funny, but it makes you think a little bit. It says, people are too casual about the fact that parrots can talk. And now that you think about it, if you did not know what a parrot was and you went into the jungle and you saw a bird and that bird started talking, you'd be pretty scared. You would probably think that that bird was a demon or a ghost or something. But we know what parrots are, so it does not surprise us. It's an, inter it's an interesting thought. It's an interesting thought. Another meme that is not a joke, but it is another interesting thought. How is it 2023 
and nobody has come up with a satisfying explanation as to why cell phones never show up in our dreams if we are using them for 12 hours a day. Now, have you ever had a dream, un sueño, ever had a dream about a phone? I have not. And that is a weird thought because we use them all day long. So why are these not showing up in our dreams? Hmm. 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 Next. Next meme. Isn't it weird that we have one hand that can do everything and then this other hand sits here, sits there like IDK, que significa I don't know, no sé. I don't know how to hold a pencil. <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think about it because you could do so many things with this hand, brush your teeth, write, draw, so many things. And this hand is almost good for nothing, right? You can't write, you, it feels weird to brush your teeth. That's so weird, so weird. We have one hand that's super strong, super intelligent, and then this hand is just a big old dummy, a bobo. <laughs> Okay guys, and the last, the last meme that is funny for me because in my area this is something kind of common, right here. It says, you've been a local rapper for 10 years, it's time to take the CDL, bruh. Okay? So, what is a CDL? A CDL is a license, una licencia, to drive big trucks, big camiones, okay? To drive semi-trucks. You have to take a test to learn how to drive a semi-truck, to get a, a, a job as a truck driver, what we say, and they make good money. So what this meme is saying is that there's a lot of people who have been trying to become a famous rapper, rapero famoso, for 10 years. Like, okay, time to give up on that dream, go get a real job. And I am not a dream killer. If you have a dream, I say go for it. But, but, you cannot just be a aspiring rapper living at your mom's house, you have to work too, okay? You have to keep working to make money, to live day to day, and then you can chase your dreams, in my opinion. All right, my friends, I hope this video was useful. Hope you smiled, hope you heard some good English. I maybe talked a little bit faster in this video than I normally do, but that's because I think that you guys are ready to advance, ready to move on to that next level. Como siempre. Mis amigos queridos, muchísimas gracias por ver y nos vemos pronto.